Good morning, this is Jin Young Young Barnaby. I'm a research geneticist at USDA ARS, U.S. National Arboretum Floral and Nursery Plants Research Unit in Washington, D.C. My talk today will start by introducing the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, Agricultural Research Service, ARS, and the research centers located in Washington, D.C. and Beltsville, Maryland, followed by ARS national programs. Then I will introduce the current smart agriculture trend and research activities at USDA ARS. In the end, I will introduce potential challenges in the era of smart agriculture. The USDA ARS has five area offices in the United States, Pacific West Area, Plains Area, Midwest Area, Northeast Area, and Southeast Area, including about 90 ARS research units and laboratories. There are about 2,000 scientists and 6,000 other employees. ARS has 15 national programs, including about 750 research projects, and a yearly budget for these core research projects is about $1.9 million in the fiscal year 2023 out of total USDA budget $209 billion. The USDA headquarter is located in Washington, D.C., and the ARS headquarter is located in Beltsville, Maryland, and there are three research centers in these locations. The main campus of the U.S. National Arboretum, USNA, is located in Washington, D.C., which is about three to four miles away from the White House and the Capitol. Two other research centers, Beltsville Agricultural Research Center, BARC, and Beltsville Human Nutrition Research Center, BHNRC, are in Beltsville, Maryland, which is about 12 miles away from the main campus of the U.S. National Arboretum. The USNA, BARC, BHNRC campuses are located in the Northeast area and are the largest, most diversified agricultural research complex in the world. And research is conducted through programs at the U.S. National Arboretum in Washington, D.C. and Beltsville, Maryland campuses, and the Animal and Natural Resources Institute, BARC East, and the Beltsville Human Nutrition Research Center, BHNRC, and the Plant Science Institute, Park West, in Beltsville, Maryland campus. The pictures on the top left are the U.S. National Arboretum main campus in Washington, D.C., and on the top right and the bottom pictures are the BARC, USNA, BHNR campuses in Beltsville, Maryland. As I mentioned earlier, there are four different categories of national programs comprising 15 research programs. Under the category of nutrition, food safety, and quality, three national programs called human nutrition, food safety, and product quality and the new uses are included. Under the category of animal production and protection, four national programs called food animal production, animal health, veterinary, medical, and urban entomology, and aquaculture are included. Under the category of crop production and protection, four national programs, plant genetics resources, genomics and genetic improvement, plant diseases, crop protection and quarantine, and crop production are included. Under the category of natural resources and sustainable agricultural systems, four national programs, water availability and watershed management, soil and air, grass, forage, and rangeland agroecosystem, and sustainable agricultural systems research are included. With the challenges facing U.S. agriculture, such as growing population, rising production cost, labor shortage, along with climate change, Smart agriculture may be an important part of the solution that can maximize productivity while minimizing inputs and sustaining environmental ecosystems. The graph on the right, published by USDA Economic Research Service, ERS, illustrates ag tech continue to drive productivity improvement while total farm input have plateaued since the 1950s. Technological advancement in agriculture, 
enable farmers to meet increasing demand through low-cost and efficient methods. This is the list of current smart agriculture trends. We are developing satellite technology solutions powered by global positioning systems, GPS tracking, and global information systems, GIS mapping methods to collect data in real time. IoT solutions are in demand as data collection plays an essential role in boosting productivity and efficiency. AI, variable rate technology, robotics, and drone solutions cover a large portion of this trend. Since site-specific management is an important topic of agritech, soil mapping through big data provides precise information about farmlands. Lastly, emission reduction technologies help farmers control CO2 emissions by processing large data set. Satellite technology in agriculture helps farmers analyze large areas of their farms in a short period of time and in real time. Also, it allows farmers to react immediately to localize issues like fertilization and irrigation. Technologies such as GIS and GPS further enable farmers to determine the topography, heterogeneity, and yield estimation of crops, as well as for livestock tracking. Examples of the startups and scale-ups working on this technology development are 701X in the United States and Sense Farming in Ukraine. Data collection is becoming an integral part of the agricultural process. Farmers turn to IoT solutions to decide which type of pesticides and fertilizers should be used for reaching optimal efficiency and to monitor weather conditions and to take control of production processes and to lower production risks. The uses of IoT sensors helps farmers optimize all aspects of their work, including crop farming and tracking cattle. Furthermore, live monitoring of the field data enables farmers to make the best decisions on upcoming production while reducing their environmental impact. Examples of the startups and scale-ups include UBIQ IoT in Italy and ESI System in Spain. Artificial intelligence enhances the data collected from various sensors to enable precision agriculture and improve harvest quality and accuracy. AI also makes various other aspects of ag tech operations smarter. Machine learning and deep learning techniques are becoming an integral part of agriculture and are utilized in soil and crop monitoring, agricultural robotics, among others. Examples of the startups and scale-ups include Sway AI in the United States, Mojo in Canada. Variable rate technology, VRT, enables the application of water, nutrients, and other factors of production at varying rates across a field. This eliminates the need to make multiple runs across an area or constantly change rate settings on machinery. Also, VRT eliminates the time-consuming agricultural tasks that are done manually, while also reducing the chance of human error. Therefore, VRT helps farmers boost productivity, increase precision, and improve risk management. Some examples of VRT include fertigation systems, precision pest management, and variable rate application. Examples of the startups and scale-ups include Leapbox in Dutch, Geopart in Germany. Agricultural robots are capable of data gathering and analysis to increase crop yields. In addition, technological advancement in robotics allow farmers to sign robots to repetitive and time-consuming tasks. Furthermore, robotics automation in agriculture decreases resource consumption and the chance of human error, leading to cost-efficient production and improved food quality. 
Examples of the startups and scales up include Trevatis in Dutch and Auros in Brazil. Plan health monitoring, pest control, livestock management, aerial survey, and soil analysis are increasingly performed by drones. UAB and UGB, which are unmanned aerial and ground vehicle respectively, are utilized in agricultural production to boost the efficiency and quality of products. Also, drones are less prone to human errors and require minimal observation. In conjunction with satellite imagery, drone imaging is incorporated to gain a better understanding of the field potential and soil quality. Example of the startups and scales ups include Antpod in India, Xander in Italy. Big data and analytics enable farmers to make the right decision that ultimately improve farm yields. Software solution provides site and production specific insight on rainfall patterns, fertilizer requirement, and water cycles. Furthermore, the implementation of big data and analytics makes agricultural production more proficient, productive, and well-regulated while preserving the environment and climate. Data analytics also assist farmers in real-time plant health monitoring, actionable insight for upcoming yield, and resource management decisions based on the established trends. Digitalization of farming reduces labor-related costs while improving efficiency and providing fast and reliable solutions for upcoming production issues. Examples of the startups and scale-ups include Palmyra in United Arab Emirates and Bias in Egypt. In efficient agricultural activities that increase greenhouse gas emissions challenge the agricultural industry more than ever. In this regard, digital technologies in farming reduce emissions through the implementation of carbon capture and utilization and storage solutions. In addition, carbon sequestration maps and data analysis platform have the potential to reduce agricultural input by implementing site-specific applications. Emission reduction in agriculture enables farmers to better target inputs to the spatial need of the field, resulting in lower greenhouse gas emissions. Examples of the startups and scale-ups include smart cloud farming in Germany and downforce in the UK. ARS scientists are developing low-cost remote sensing and equipment control technologies that can help the industry overcome labor shortage, fine-tune management decisions, and conserve resources while meeting growing demand for food. Four different research areas using smart technologies include crop breeding and production, livestock breeding and production, pre- and post-harvest processing, and non-destructive quality assessment and grading commodities. We are developing low-cost remote sensing and equipment control technologies such as tower-based, tractor-based, drone-based imaging systems with the use of smartphone apps to manage daily operations while reducing labor cost and improving operating efficiency, enabling farms to benefit from precision agriculture technologies. The first example is about the development of a new precision management tool optimizing cotton producer decision-making. The small size of newly emerged cotton plants makes farmers difficult to identify with remote sensing, and the time required for extensive data processing to accurately detect cotton plants often prevent remediation based on the measurement. An ARS research group in Columbia, Midri used UABs with AI-based real-time image processing to collect early season images of cotton field, and then developed and refined method to quickly process the images and provide emergence results. The method identified 
the number of plant seedlings in the field and recognize weed and other extraneous material with an accuracy rate of more than 90%. The near real-time processing with the new method was much faster than traditional image processing method and will enable cotton producer to better manage their crops for more efficient production systems to ensure a stable supply of food, feed, and fiber. Next example is about developing powerful mapping and imaging tools to fight weeds, improve planting outcomes, and fight diseases in crops. An ARS group in Pendleton, Oregon, developed a way to map weeds in real time during harvest operations. The high resolution weed maps were used to help explain variation in crop yield within the field and enable direct spot spraying of weed after harvest and before they reinfest the next crop. An ARS group in Columbia, Missouri developed a method for using aerial drone images to monitor corn emergence within the first week after planting. This method can be automated to help farmers scout fields for selection that needs replanting. Another ARS group in Pendleton, Oregon, developed a procedure for monitoring the time of canola flowering from satellite or aircraft-based images that can be integrated with meteorological data to predict canola yield and disease risk. These newly developed remote sensing techniques are helping growers improve productivity and sustainability across a wide variety of national cropping systems. Next example is about the development of a machine learning based automated image processing system for precision breeding from my research program. We are leveraging next generation sequencing NGS based genotyping and machine learning based automated high throughput phenotyping systems to develop low input grass cultivars for sustainable ecosystem services. An automated Raspberry Pi based RGB image system was used to evaluate temporal dynamics of drought stress progression of a mapping population between two parents with contrasting yield and drought tolerance characteristics. Images were taken eight times a day for 30 days of stress treatment using 12 RGB cameras for three, rep three replicates of 320 mapping progeny. Each image contained 80 different lines, and so we developed algorithms to automatically segment each genotype in an image, label each genotypic information, and generate a total of 230,400 images. These images were then processed using different color models to automatically quantify all 230,400 images and found genetic variation in drought tolerance. First and second video represent one of our drought tolerant and susceptible lines respectively as drought symptom progress. Lastly, a clustering algorithm was used to classify genotypes based on the temporal patterns of drought progression. We are now developing an automated graphical user interface, GUI, incorporating older algorithms used and developed. This machine learning based GUI will facilitate precision breeding to develop resilient grass cultivars with reduced management input for sustainable ecosystem services. Next example is about the development of a new highly efficient apple harvesting robotic arm. Automated harvesting technology is urgently needed to address U.S. labor shortage and increasing labor costs facing the multi-million dollar U.S. tree fruit industry. Although research into robotic harvesting has been reported in recent years, two technical challenges picking fr fruit from clusters and finding fruit obscured by leaves and branches still need to be resolved. An ARS research group in East Lansing, Michigan, developed a new robotic apple harvesting technology 
that couples an innovative concept of vacuum sucking and rotation with a simple and effective robot arm movement mechanism. When the new harvesting robotic arm was tested in 2020 during multiple commercial field trials, it effectively and skillfully picked fruit from cluster and from deep within the canopy where apples were obscured by leaves and branches. A patent application for this technology has been filed. Next example is about development of a zero-valent iron sand filtration to improve microbial quality of irrigation water. Surface water is used for irrigation by farmers. However, surface waters may be a source of bacterial foodborne pathogens, which contaminate fresh produce intended for human consumption. An ARS research group in Beltsville, Maryland, developed a zero-valent iron sand filtration, reducing E. coli in irrigation water and leafy green growing environments. This system provides data to fruit and vegetable growers to minimize pathogenic contamination on these commodities and reduce foodborne illness associated with produce commodities in the United States. This work was done by one of, one of the postdoc, Dr. Sung Yoon Kim in Beltsville, Maryland campus, who is currently a, an assistant professor at Cheonnam National University. Next example is about development of a device and protocols of enhancing foodborne pathogen sampling at processing facilities. Sampling methods are critical since improper microbiological sample can incorrectly indicate that processing methods are effective. An ARS research group in Clay Center, Nebraska, developed new continuous CSD and manual MSD meat sampling devices for raw, raw beef trim and developed and validated protocols now used in commercial processing facilities addressing common variations in sampling. Findings indicate that the various alternative application of CSD and MSD-based trim sampling for pathogen detections are equivalent or better than previous methods and provide additional benefits in reduced labor cost, other cost, and improved worker safety. The benefits from smart technologies are obvious. However, there are still many challenges to tackle. We need to choose the sensors for a device to build an IoT solution for agriculture. Second, data analytics should be at the core of every smart agriculture solution. Third, we should be able to access the information on-site or remotely through a smartphone or desktop computer. Fourth, Maintenance of hardware is a challenge as the sensors are typically used in the field and can be easily damaged. Fifth, we need a solid internal infrastructure to ensure that our smart farming applications perform well. Sixth, because of the high variety of data types in agricultural industry, ensuring the frequency of optimal data collection can be problematic. Today, the safe and timely delivery and sharing of this data is one of the current smart farming challenges. Seventh, the need to transmit data between many agricultural facilities is still facing a challenge for the adoption of smart farming. The advent of 5G and technologies like space-based internet will hopefully help find a solution to this problem. Lastly, Precision agriculture and IoT technology imply working with large sets of data, increasing the number of potential security loopholes that perpetrators can use for data theft and hacking attacks. Some of the basic IoT security recommendations include monitoring data traffic using encryption method to protect sensitive data, leveraging AI-based security tools to detect traces of suspicious activity in real time, and storing data in the blockchain to ensure its integrity. Future farmers will likely be a data manager, 
Therefore, training new farmers is a prerequisite to incorporate the latest scientific advances and technology tools into their daily operations. International Rice Research Institute, IRI, in the Philippines, actively holds training on digital knowledge and tools on precision agriculture. Furthermore, with such a wealth of information, one could predict the future of the market and manipulate prices of agricultural inputs, disadvantaged farmers. Currently, there is no regulatory system in the U.S. targeted specifically at data collection in the agriculture industry. This needs to be urgently considered. Thank you for having me, and I would be happy to take any question you may have.